Hi, my name is Carmen Powell and I'm a secondary education student with emphasis in biology. Hi, I'm Jamie Dolan and I am a chemistry major with a focus on secondary education. We are here to show you a demonstration that illustrates centripetal force. Centripetal force is equal to the mass times the velocity squared all over the radius. This differs from your ordinary force equation in that your ordinary force equation is just equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity. You have your velocity and radius in this equation because we are going to be moving the buckets in a circular motion. So as Carmen said, we're going to be talking about centripetal force. And for this demonstration, you'll just need a few simple things that you can find at home. First, you're going to need a bucket that has a good sturdy handle. Next, you'll need some confetti. We're just using paper that we've ripped up into small squares. And then also some water. I will be showing you this demonstration using confetti. Now if we were to pour out the confetti from the bucket just normally, gravity would take hold and the confetti would fall out of the bucket. But since we are going to be doing it in a circular motion, centripetal force is going to take over, pushing the confetti back up into the bucket. So now we'll try the demonstration again, only this time using water, a liquid, to see if the principle still applies. So today we showed you two demonstrations of centripetal force using both a solid and a liquid. Um, when we were spinning the bucket, the centripetal force overcame the force, the force and acceleration due to gravity by keeping both the confetti and the water in the bucket and not coming out and falling down on us. This is an experiment that is easily done at home. If you do choose to do it at home, just make sure you are outside to prevent any messes. Woo!